Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 14th, 2019. So yesterday, yesterday was a brutal day for the market, just pounding down uh, very, very strongly. If you remember yesterday, I was laying out support and resistance, and I suggested the possibility that we could move down into this support. Certainly what happened yesterday, and we did get a little bit of a bounce um, at the end of the day. So, so far, the, I think the good news here in the Dow is that we've held on to that 250,000 or 25,000 level, I'm sorry, um, in the Dow um, holding above 250. I think that's a good sign, at least for the moment, that we're holding on to this significant level. So uh, now that we've found some price support here, we didn't just bounce from kind of midair, we found some price support. We are getting a nice lift this morning. Currently, Dow futures are pointing to a nice gap open, and we're looking at right now about 160, 100. 70 points it's been building all morning now one of the things we want to be really really careful with is to not get overly excited and chase into this morning pop we've all seen the pop and drop pattern that pop and drop pattern we get that gap up morning and we sell off the rest of the day gap up morning sell off the rest of the day gap up morning gap up morning sell off the rest of the day we want to be really really careful that we don't jump in first thing in the morning get caught up in that fear of missing out jump into something where we catch it right in this possible resistance area among those wicks and tails and we run directly into bears let's keep in mind right in this area where we're gapping up to is a price resistance level so you want to think about that as um, the market opens we don't want to be chasing or rushing in we want to wait and see if the bulls actually are able to push through that defense of the bears this morning remember this is going to trade war situation has not been resolved it's going to be a lingering ongoing problem uh, for the market here for a period of time that's going to make this market very emotional and news driven so keep in mind these bears are not likely to give up easily and um, we don't want to rush right into um, a bull trap so watch that closely now as long as we hold on to this price support i think we're going to be okay we could bounce around in here for a while keep in mind that most times we get a pullback like this bottoms are a process they're they're not normally just a shoot straight back up normally they are a process where we build some kind of a base a bottom in here we may rally test some resistance levels pull back bounce around in here before we finally get enough confidence enough energy to maybe rally so watch that closely also keep in mind we have significant resistance levels in the charts and lots of charts suffered major technical damage yesterday so this is going to take some time to recover from most likely and as we rally back to these price resistance levels we're going to want to watch them very, very closely as that potential where we could fail and continue um, our downtrend. So watch that um, and stay focused on those price action levels. Let's take a look at the SPY real quickly. SPY, same situation here going on in the SPY, um, obviously broken its uh, uptrend. Uh, clearly, we are now clearly uh, involved in a downtrend. What's nice here is that we ended up tagging this support, and I did mention this support yesterday as that possibility. We tagged it and held on. So by the end of the day, hanging in on that little price support is giving us a little bit of lift this morning. We're bouncing up right here into this price resistance area in the chart so we'll want to think about that as we watch this morning open we want to be careful once again not to chase in if the market does get going and get busy here and the bulls take over we'll have to pay very close attention to these price resistance levels in the chart and making sure 
that there's not a big line of defense by the bears um, up in there as we start moving on. Again, I looked through thousands of charts last night, lots of technical damage. I would say massive technical damage in, in a lot of areas. This will take some time to recover from that technical damage unless we just have an immediate news report that says, China has rolled over and the U.S. has agreed to a, a new trade deal. Um, I wouldn't expect that. I sur certainly wouldn't hold my breath that that's going to occur. This is going to last for a while. And uh, the challenges we face in the market are likely, very likely to continue. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues looking uh, pretty darn ugly here on the day. Just an ugly gap down yesterday and move lower and um here once again we tagged came very close I, I would say we missed it by just a few ticks but tagged the key support in the chart isn't it amazing how support and resistance works and if you just take the time to look at a chart look at those significant levels in the chart it will often give you clues um, and these were these were marks that I put in there yesterday. So um, give you clues of where we might catch that support. And we're gapping up this morning, and we're gapping up in the Dow. Excuse me, in the Nasdaq about to the high of yesterday's move. So please keep in mind that we could still find that price resistance in here. Watch that gap very closely. We don't wanna get caught in that pop and drop pattern and, and um, see more selling coming into play. So don't be careful not to rush in, watch the market really closely this morning at the open. Also keep in mind these significant resistance levels above. If we do start to rise, we've got some challenges ahead of us. Let's take a look at IWM. That IWM really had a rough day yesterday losing this price support. And although it is gapping up this morning, one of the things that I'm concerned about on this chart is that it's floating here in midair. Um, we will often come um, on down and test this level. So watch that close um, in, in any bounce. In any bounce, we have to worry about that potential of that failure on down to test these other uh, levels of support. So watch that. Um, not coming all the way down here and testing like the rest of the indexes leaves a door open for more potential selling here in IWM. And if you notice, IWM is gapping up this morning, but it's not gapping up with the intensity that the other indexes are this morning. So um, watch that closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, if you guys remember for some time now, I said the real problem in the market would be if we rallied above, held this level as support. And then that's where the real fear could come into the market. And um, that kind of happened yesterday, doggone it. Um, so we're gonna wanna watch this gap up this morning. That gap up could produce a little bit of relief in the market. Some of those fears could potentially drift away, assuming that the bulls can maintain control of that rally. However, if the bears, if this turns out to be a pop and drop pattern and the bears resume pressure on the market, we could continue to see this fear spike up into this area and more selling come into the market. However, if the bulls maintain today's control, I would expect this to start drifting back down toward this level of support in here. And then we'll have to watch for that potential bounce. But watch that carefully and stay focused on the chart. Remember, there's a lot of back and forth that could happen here. And one of the things that, that bothers me about where the VIX is right now is it's really quite a long ways from price support and it's quite a long ways from price resistance. And that's um, rather abnormal. We uh, Charts don't like to float in midair. So um, we'll want to keep an eye on those two levels and watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 
T2122 is the four week uh, new high, new low ratio. And you can see yesterday's move brought us right back down here into, uh, whoops, I'm sorry. I'm on a two day chart there. There we go. Brought us right back down into uh, this bullish reversal zone. So we're down here um, in that bullish reversal zone. Keep in mind, just because we're down here doesn't mean we can't move on lower. If you take a look back here, it's it's not out of the question that we could move down all the way into here and get truly bearish before we start to rally up. So we still have that potential of that move down, which makes me very leery of you know this big gap up this morning all that energy so we're going to want to focus on that price action this morning and if those bulls um, push this gap a little bit too far in the open and we see sellers come in immediately after we could push uh, right on through uh, those lows yesterday and, and maybe uh, seek out this um, truly oversold condition and by the way I, I think the market is after yesterday's route is really in a short-term oversold condition so a little bit of bounce a little bit of relief would not be out of the question so let's hope those bulls can continue to maintain and hold on to that what we have done here is we've opened up a massive window for that potential rally if the bulls can maintain the strength if the news events start to smooth out if we start to get some certainty in the market um i just kind of feel that the certainty is not going to be here for a while that could be just my pessimism but i think um there's going to be uncertain times here for a while until we get some resolution um on tariffs what all the impacts are going to be so kind of kind of keep an eye on that let's take a look at our economic calendar for today our economic calendar um pretty light on the day we do have um well it's all right happened there was a fed speaker this morning um the nfib business optimism report was out but import export prices here at 8 30 is uh, the biggest market mover of the day um don't expect much out of that to be honest but you'll want to keep an eye on it We've got some uh, bill announcements, and then we do have a Fed speaker at 12.45 today. The big numbers won't be occurring until tomorrow when we get re industrial production and, um, and retail sales. Both of those have significant um, impacts to the market. And, of course, we get Empire State, and we get several um, several reports yesterday that can move the market around. So we'll want to keep an eye on those pretty closely. Uh, for tomorrow but today pretty light on the calendar on the earnings calendar however we had close to 170 companies reporting earnings today we'll want to keep an eye on that and we'll want to focus um, uh, make sure that we stay focused on those uh, charts that could report and and be watching them carefully one such report would be baba baba is expected to report today looks like it well, I can't tell if this is just the gap up in response to the market or if it's reported already this morning. Um, but um, Bob is one of those that can be a really big market mover on um, earnings reports. So you might want to keep an eye on Baba. And there's quite a few other companies today like um, like Cisco um reporting earnings uh looks like it's gapping up a little bit too maybe response to the bullishness in the market um possible response to this nice price support or maybe it's already reported earnings we'll have to watch um, and see how that comes along i i didn't check the earnings uh, times today just the the fact that these companies are reporting so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day i want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor click that subscribe button on youtube follow me button on facebook click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment um, yesterday i was so busy we have a special event going on in our trading rooms 
for uh, yesterday and today. And so um, I didn't get a chance to respond back other than to just, uh, you know, leave you thumbs up and things like that. I wasn't able to to answer back on that. And that may be the case uh, again today. But I truly, truly appreciate those who take the time to do that. It means the world to me. Um, you guys are the result of why the, why the channel is growing. Um, obviously, I work as hard as I can to provide good content to the channel, but it's your th it's it's your response with a thumbs up, leaving the comments that makes the big difference. So thank you very very much uh, for those who do that, taking the time. It means the world to me, and um, you guys, honestly, you're the best. So thank you very very much. Also, please feel free to share these videos with any friends and family. Um, share them on your Facebook or or Twitter feeds, whatever uh, social media outlet that you use. Let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up. Now, um, in a market that's such a bummer, sometimes it's hard to hard to even wanna think about buying anything or uh, looking for trades. Now, because we are seeing somewhat of a rally back up, I wanna be thinking long because we've, we've maybe overstretched this this move down. So I wanna be looking for stocks that might have the opportunity to take advantage of that move. So I wanna be looking for stocks that have held up relatively well during this sell-off. Take a look at MDLZ. MDLZ is a consumer defensive stock. It started up the other day and I alerted everyone to it. Every one of these peak lines is a possible entry alert and um, pulled back yesterday and this morning we'll have to wait and see where this goes but there is an opportunity for MDLZ here to move on up. It's holding up really well considering uh, the, the messiness of this market. So watch that one pretty close. LMT, LMT had a pullback. Now, this was an alert that I alerted everyone to um, on this day when it broke out, moved on through, and now we've pulled back to retest this level of support right here. LMT could be one of those stocks that could move on higher here. So you might want to keep an eye on that. And remember that anytime I, I show you a chart like this, these are not meant as buy and sell recommendations. These are meant as um, as watch list stocks that you should put on put on your list, of make an evaluation, and decide whether or not this trade is for you. These are not recommendations to buy and sell. I want to make that very very clear. Another chart that you might want to keep an eye on is PepsiCo. PepsiCo holding in there beautifully, and um, hanging on just really really nice so if pepsico starts to move higher you might want to watch this in here and i could see that opportunity for that to really break loose and and move to the upside i'm um, here in the very near future if that can can hang on might want to um take a look at some of these stocks um some of the stocks that could um, rally back to resistance levels. If you are thinking short, if you're thinking that the market cannot go much higher, um, that we're going to see more problems, look at these charts that have had these big moves and watch for those rally back to resistance. If they rally back up to resistance, we want to watch for a potential failure pattern to occur. Now, I'm not suggesting Disney is going to fail. I'm suggesting wait for the pattern to develop. If we rally back to resistance levels and we start to show failure patterns, that's where we could pick up those short positions. So if you're thinking short, you want to be short. Notice how Boeing has given up this multi-year, this major level of price support in this chart, big level in here, giving it up. So any rally back up here toward these resistance levels, we wanna watch this area up in here for potential short trades. So as we start moving back up on some of these stocks, getting that little bit of a relief rally, we wanna start looking for those patterns where we could get that failure and that, that new sell off 
to um, a, a new low here. So watch those. If you're thinking short, if you're thinking, hey, I just want to be bearish, that's what I would be watching for. And watch for those stocks that rally to resistance and then show me that failure pattern. However, if you're more of a long only trader and want to look for some of those long trades, hey, take a look at Ford. Ford um, had some selling in there yesterday pulling back it may try to move higher looks like it's gapping back up this morning moving up a little bit here um, um, almost gapping above its sell-off yesterday um, if it can hold up above in this support area uh, Ford may have an opportunity after breaking a major downtrend holding that support now don't uh, don't also uh, think this is one to just rush right into we need a good signal and you can see my price alert up here I need to see the stock kind of move on through that level and I would be not at all surprised to see the stock con continue to consolidate move sideways even pull back to this older trend uh, before this moves up so this is one to keep an eye on and one Watch, but it's starting to uh, build some of those positive signs that could produce uh, some good charts. Let's take a look at stocks like Shopify. Shopify had an ugly sell-off yesterday, gap down, but notice that the buyers kind of rejected that gap down. If this can move back into this trend, notice how well this stock follows its trend. If it can move back into its trend or even consolidate over to its trend, we want to watch for that possibility of Shopify moving up out of there. Kind of a different stock, one that um, has been very challenged is uh, GE. GE has been in a massively long downtrend. Um, lots and lots of trouble at the company. Um, but we have now broken that long-term downtrend, as you can see here rallied up and now we're pulling back to test some price support and possibly even this little trend that we have going on if that moves back into this um, area here holds some price support holds trend there is an opportunity here uh, possibly for GE to kind of pick up and start moving higher so watch that one closely um, for that potential some good opportunities out there in these charts be really really careful of the stocks that are very very newsy uh, because they can really create uh, quite a little bit of trouble for you um, and because of those news events are going to really impact them hard so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all the very best i apologize this video got a little bit long um, and i will see you all bright and early wednesday morning take care everyone and if you're struggling as a trader please i want to encourage you to not give up keep up the hard work it will pay off eventually have a great day